Today I'm gonna show you step by step how to make a high pace, high energy EDM banger like this one. A moment of silence before the sleep. So when I say high pace, I mean it. The BPM is set to 174 and let's start in the middle of the song with the drop. We're gonna start with the kick and it's really important to choose the right kick for this type of track. I'm using this club kick. So let's put it in and we want to pair it with an offbeat bass. First select your sound. I'm using this bass called Roller from my sample pack Staple Sounds. Open up piano roll and set your key first. So we're gonna go right here, view, scale highlighting and choose our key. I'm gonna do major and C. So the highlighted notes you see are the ones you can use in C major. So create your pattern by choosing a key you wanna start with. And it's gonna be a simple offbeat bass like this. And then follow up by choosing a different note in the highlighted key. This is the bass line I created. But as I said, any other key would also work. It's up to you what you choose, what sounds the best to you. And to make this bass a bit more interesting, I layered it with other bass sounds as well. So we have this one. But I'm gonna delete the high frequencies from it, put it on mixer track number one and simply remove the high frequencies with an EQ. So this layer will serve as the sub bass. I also put sound goodizer on it to make it pop a bit more. The next layer is this one called Bass Future. Just a little layer that adds a bit more of those high frequencies back in. And then we have this one from Nexus called Offbeat. Which is like a clicky bass. So the first one plays the low frequencies and the other ones do the opposite. They play the high frequencies and we removed all the low frequencies from those layers. Then we have this. Right off the bat, really high pace energy coming together. The next thing we are going to do is upgrade the drums in the second repetition of the drop. We have the kick, but now we also have a clap and an offbeat hi-hat. And one more as well. This one doubles down at the end. And to make it more interesting, we add a second kick in the fourth repetition. Then we have this. Of course we are missing a melody, but first I want to add a vocal to set the tone of the track. But I want my own unique vocal tailored to my track, so I'm gonna sing one. And don't worry, you don't need to know how to sing, because I'm gonna show you how to edit it so it actually sounds good in the end. So here's the vocal I recorded. It sounds terrible, but don't worry, we are gonna make it work. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we here to stay. Mayday, mayday, you can bring us down, but we here to stay. So yeah, you might be thinking, how is this gonna fit into the track? Well, I'm gonna show you. First, I sang it high because I wanna change my voice to female voice later. But then I figured out you actually don't have to do that. So I just sang it like this for no reason, apparently. Either way, first thing you wanna do is put this vocal into Newton and fix the pitch. So you're gonna open up new instance of Newtone and simply drag your vocal in. Once it's in Newton, you're just gonna center it like so, lower the variation, so there is no wobbly vocals going around, and you're gonna fix any issues with the pitch. Mayday, mayday, you and I. So this one, you, just move it down. You and I. This one as well. You and I, you, you and I, we here to stay. So just go throughout the whole vocal and fix any issues you might find. In the end, you want it to sound like the singing you intended. And then drag it into the playlist. Now we have the same vocal, but the pitch is corrected. And here is how it sounds. Not much better. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we here to stay. So now the notes are in the correct pitch, but still this vocal sounds trash. So let's fix that. Let's put it on a new track and we're gonna put Sound ID Voice AI onto this track. So Sound ID Voice AI is a plugin that can change your voice into a different singer. So you have a selection of many singers here and they'll keep adding more as well. This is my voice. You can preview them. This is my voice. This is my voice. 
this. And you can make your voice sound like these singers. They also have a creative category here and you can actually change your voice into instruments as well, which can be fun as well, but I'm gonna leave that for another video. But today we are gonna focus on the voices and a cool thing is all of this happens in your DAW. So you don't have to leave your DAW, it's right here. So what we are gonna do is capture the audio first. So press capture, make sure the vocal is on the track where the sound ID voice AI is. And now just play the vocal. We are gonna have to hear it again. Mayday, mayday, we're here to stay. So once you play the vocal, the plugin recorded it, and now you can change your voice. So we can pick any of these singers. I'm going with Mia. This is my voice. Which is a nice airy voice. So just press start processing. And after a short moment, our voice is ready and you can just play it. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. Actually, I wanted to try a different voice as well. This is my voice. There's Emily, which is a kid's voice. And I thought for EDM, I like those high pitched voices in the track. So that's what I'm going to try now. We're going to change the voice to this one. And in a moment, it's ready and we can preview it. Mayday, mayday. You and I, we're here to stay. Mayday, mayday. You can bring us down, but we're here to stay. A lot better, really cool compared to my voice. So now we have a vocal that we can work with. So once you are ready, you can go to processed vocals and just drag this vocal in here. And we have the new adjusted vocal ready. Mayday, mayday. Also, if you want to check out Sound ID Voice AI yourself, check out the link in the description. You can try it out for free and see how you like it. Thanks to Sonaworks for sponsoring this video. So now, of course, we want to put some effects on it. So I put it on track number 13. We have Pitcher. Then we have Vox Chain by Lander before. Mayday, mayday. And now. Mayday, mayday. So I added quite a bit of air and saturation. So I wanted this distorted vocal. Then we have some reverb. To add more ambience, then some delay. Mayday, mayday, you and I. Sound producer to glue everything together. Mayday, mayday. And also kickstart, so the whole vocal is pumping along with the track. Mayday, mayday. So now it sounds like this in the whole track. Of course, it's still a bit empty, so we're gonna add a few more sounds to make this drop pop a bit more. And also, then we're gonna move on to the main melody of the drop. One of the sounds that I'm gonna add is this background element. I'm using this dead mouse plug, and I created this melody with it. So this is just in the background to add a bit of something for the listener. I also added some crashes and sweeps and a reverse vocal, and then we have this. You can hear how this background element sort of drives the drop a little bit more. Anyways, so this part of the song is sort of after the drop. Now let's focus on the first part of the drop that should hit the most. And that brings us into the melody. For the melody, I went with a vocal based melody, meaning that I'm using a vocal shots for the sound. So I have this sound. <laughs> the spook, then this one, and then this one. So these three layers create my main lead. This is the melody I created. Pretty simple, but it works. Again, following the highlighted notes, therefore the melody stays in the right key. Once the sounds are combined, here is how it sounds. And you can hear a unique reverb effect. So the melody is on track number three and we root it into track number four as well. And we put tons of reverb on track number four. Then we have peak controller, which controls the amount of reverb coming in. So when the melody is playing, there is no reverb, but when it stops playing, the reverb slowly comes in. You can see it visually here. So that's a cool effect that you can do. And the way you do it, you put peak controller on track number three, and then you right click the volume knob on track number four, where the reverb is, and you press link to controller, 
and you choose peak controller and accept it. Then you can see the volume knob is moving since the peak controller is controlling it. So that results in this nice pumping effect. Of course, I got a bunch more effects on this lead melody, including Vox Chain, which is for vocals. But since this is a vocal one-shot melody, I used Vox Chain to make it a bit more bright, some EQ to boost the high mid frequencies, Sound Glitter to put it all together, and some more EQ just adjusting the frequencies as we went. Then the first part of the drop sounds like this. can see our track is shaping up. A few more things I added in the drop is some effects. So we have some down sweeps and crashes. To make everything a bit more interesting. We also have this drum fill at the end of the first repetition. And I also have added some brass hits. Take a brass hit, make it unique and change the pitch of the second one to create a brass hit melody. So you can see this one is plus 400, this one is minus 300, then we have this brass melody. And I also sprinkled in the vocal at the end of the repetitions Bring us down, but we're here to, stay. to sort of come full circle. But the drop is only as good as the build up, so that's what I'm going to show you now. Here we have the buildup. It might seem complicated, but it's really not. First, we start with a low impact hit. Then I have added buildup drums, where I also automated the EQ so it goes from low to high. So it intensifies as we go. Some crashes. Of course, the drop melody, but not in its final form. It just repeats like this, so we create the tension, also the background element. Some strings. Everything is just repeating itself, so we actually leave the full melody for the drop. I also sprinkled in the vocal. Again, automating the filter, so it goes from low to high. And also automating the formant, which you do in picture, just enable the formant and automate this knob. So we go from deep voice to high voice. Mayday, mayday. And right before the drop, we have a sub drop and a vocal riser. And a continuation of the vocal, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. A moment of silence before the slayer. Again, automating the formant. So now the build up with the drop sounds like this. And the last thing I did in this track is created the breakdown. Now for the breakdown, I created a new vocal, which I'm gonna show you right now. Same deal as before, I recorded myself singing first, but this time I sang in my normal voice instead of a high-pitched voice, and it sounds like this, terrible. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. Mayday, mayday. And then one more line at the end. A moment of silence before the sleigh. Yeah, that's my singing voice. Either way, we did the same process as before. We ran it through Newton to fix the pitch first. Mayday, mayday, a moment of silence before the sleigh. A little bit better, but now the start of the show, we ran it through Sound ID Voice AI. So you can capture the voice by recording it. And once that's ready, you can choose your voice. This is my voice. This is. This time I went with Mia. This is my voice. 
And what you can also do in Sound ID Voice AI is unison mode. So you can create multiple voices singing at the same time. So let's try that. So we're gonna have four voices. Each one will start at a little bit of a different time and have a slightly different pitch. So we create these backing vocals with one click. So let's start processing. Now it's ready and we can listen to it. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. You can hear the multiple voices singing at the same time and we can route it to the track with the effects and with the rest of the sound. Mayday, mayday. So we can either have that, or I also prepared the solo vocal. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. Now we can remove the rest of the vocals. And for the breakdown, what I did here is have this break bass playing the same notes as the drop bass. But we have this nice drone sound and some strings as well. just very lightly in the background. So once we have that, our track is ready to go. Let's have a listen to the finished result. And of course, if you are interested, check out Sound ID Voice AI. Link is below in the description. Try it out yourself. You can use it for your own vocals like this or for any vocals that you have, but you wanna change the voice of them. That works perfectly as well. If your starting vocal is already good, it's gonna sound a lot better. But even if your vocal sucks like mine, you can still make a pretty amazing vocal out of it. So now let's have a listen to the finished result. And of course, let's call this as well. Now our high paced EDM banger is ready. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. Mayday, mayday, you can bring us down, but we're here to stay. Mayday, mayday, you and I, we're here to stay. Mayday, mayday, a moment of silence before the sleigh. 